Welcome back to another episode of Walk and Talks. I am so excited to have a guest walker today, Kathy Goff, our new CHRO. Kathy, welcome. I'm so excited to walk with you. Oh, thank you so much for having me, Michelle. Very excited. Are you ready to walk? I'm ready. Let's, Let's do, do it. it. So Kathy, I have been like dealing with a lot or talking to a lot of clients who are in rapid growth, which is mm -hmm. so nice. Yeah. And so what they're realizing, they've been so focused on that growth and recruiting and getting everybody up and running, but now it's starting to have, you know, kind of hitting a, a pain point and they don't know how to keep up with that. There's what processes do you put in place? What systems, what do they need to do to make sure that they can maintain that growth? And one thing that they talk about is just their HR organization. Right. What are you seeing and, and what are some thoughts about how companies can, you know, address that? Yeah, no, it's a really interesting question. So when I think about company growth and how HR grows with it, one of the first things that I think about is alignment and being able to align with the business. I think in a lot of things that I do with HR, I think that first, mm -hmm. um, especially with growth. Um, second is identifying gaps. I think that's one of the most important first steps is to say, where are we as an HR organization struggling? Where are we struggling to provide support? Not within our own systems and processes, but for the business okay. in their own systems and processes. Yep. So for example, if the business is growing, it's natural that yep. they're going to need more support, different support from HR. Where are we struggling to provide that and okay. where are we falling short? So I think identifying those gaps is a really important first step. Um, and then I think from there, it's really important to just be agile and flexible when you look There's at that growing. agile, agile word. I didn't realize that <laughs> agile was applicable to HR too. How it, about that? It really is. I think there are some things that come up sometimes where people want to have what I would call a little bit of an antiquated thought process mm -hmm. of X employees, X amount of HR. Yep. And the fact is, like I think- Like calculate a ratio of something. Exactly, sort. Okay. and that doesn't always work. Okay. I think you need to understand where you are with your team, yep. their individual capabilities, where you are with your processes and systems, and that will allow you to kind of be flexible and agile in building out that growth in the best way for your team, but also the best way for the organization. That sounds so simple, right? Yeah, it, it sounds simple, right? <laughs> it sounds simple in practice, but that's really helpful because I feel like, I mean, HR is not my area of expertise, thus I wanted yeah. to talk to you, but yeah. um, there's just so many things for the clients to think about. So those are yeah. some really concrete things that they can um, focus on and do. So yeah. I'll be sure to uh, let my clients know. Thank you so much. Absolutely. It was great walking with you. Of course, thanks.